As everyone knows, except for their black ears, masks and limbs, giant pandas are covered in white fur. As a result, people often jokingly complain that the black and white bears have never made it past the age of black and white photos. However, there is one unique giant panda that realized the impossible dream of capturing them in color. When you see him, don't just assume he is a dirty giant panda covered in mud. Brown is actually his natural color. This brown giant panda is named Chi Zai. In 2009, he was found by conservation personnel on a routine patrol in the Qingling Mountains. After that, he's been living in the Qingling Research Center of Giant Panda Breeding, Shanxi Academy of Forestry. Chi Zai has remained brown throughout the years. According to the data, Jinling is the only area where brown giant pandas have been found. From 1985 until now, nine brown giant pandas in total have been spotted in the Jinling area. Giant pandas, which are endemic to China, are divided into two groups, the Sichuan giant pandas and Jinling giant pandas. Some scientists think they are two subspecies, Originally, pandas in Sichuan and Qingling of Shanxi belonged to one large group, but later were separated from each other by the Jialin River, and more recently separated further by the impact of human activities. As early as 50,000 years ago, they broke off their ties, became isolated, and were unable to mingle. Hence, they embarked on separate evolutionary processes. Sichuan and Qingling giant pandas also show significant differences in form and may actually be subspecies. Take their skulls, for example. The Sichuan giant panda exhibits a larger head and smaller teeth, but the Qingling giant panda is the exact opposite. The Sichuan giant panda, with its long head, looks more like a bear, while the Qingling giant panda, with its round head, looks more cat-like. In terms of coat color, the Qingling giant panda's fur on its chest and abdomen tends to be brown. However, when compared to Qi Zai, though, who has the most brown markings, it's insignificant. After all, he is the only giant panda in the world that's made the leap to the color photo age.